Murphy's End Episode 9 October 31st Halloween Good morning, North Murphy. Wait, wait, nope, not morning. Sorry, guys. Apparently, muscle memory is totally a thing. Let's try that again. Good evening, North Murphy High. It is Saturday, October 31st. Happy Halloween. We just have a few announcements to get through before our Halloween dinner and dance begin, so just bear with me. I promise these won't take long, but we have a few updates and instructions before this evening's festivities begin. First of all, I'm sure you all know by now since, well, you're here at 5 p.m. on a Saturday, but the Halloween dance is tonight. The doors open at 7 p.m. and you must have a ticket to enter. If you don't have a ticket yet, that's okay. Nada and Presley, the lovely heads of our dance committee, have a ticket table set up outside the doors to the cafeteria. The tickets are being sold at the low, low price of one ticket per one item of non-perishable food, unless you're trying to trade in lima beans, in which case it'll cost you six cans or one full dried bag. And it must be unopened. In case you're missing the glaringly obvious subtext here, let me spell it out for you. Please don't give us lima beans. Please don't give us lima beans. We don't want any more lima beans. We have enough lima beans to last us. Well, to last us through the apocalypse. We don't need any more lima beans. Okay? Okay. So, yeah. One ticket to the dance for one can or box of non-perishable food, not lima beans, or Presley will punch you. Thanks again to Nada and Presley for setting up another dance on such short notice. I peeked inside the gym, and let me tell you, the decorations look great. Speaking of lima beans, in an effort to spread some of the good cheer, we will not be having lima beans for dinner tonight, which in and of itself is truly a celebration. Instead, we will be having a party buffet. The cafeteria crew have been kind enough to put together a raft of pretty much every kind of sandwich you can think of, along with standard sides of macaroni salad, three bean salad, and... Oh my god, are you serious? Hannah! Hannah! Yeah? Did you double-check this? Did I double-check what? The menu! Is this right? Please tell me this is right. What are you going on about? It says there's pizza! Yeah, that's right. You're serious? I mean, you're not playing a joke on me or something, are you? Sammy, it's Halloween, not April Fool's Day. No, but seriously, you cannot joke about this. Like, ever, okay? (sighs) Sammy. Is. There. Pizza. Sammy, I need you to take a deep breath, okay? Just breathe. Okay, I'm okay. Okay, good. Okay. Sammy? Yeah? There's pizza. Oh my god. Guys, there's pizza. They made pizza. This is the best day ever. Your standards have gotten shockingly low. I love Halloween so much. Sammy. Yeah? Focus. Finish the announcements. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's just pretend that any of you will actually care about the rest of these announcements after this fantastic news. Sammy. Focus. I am! But I also haven't had pizza since the apocalypse, so excuse me for getting a little excited, Hannah. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah. At the dance, there will be more pizza. I don't know who made that happen, but I could honestly kiss them. There will also be soda, pretzels, chips, and roasted pumpkin seeds. There is also a big thing of punch, so make sure to pace yourselves and enjoy responsibly. And if you just happen to see Sid pouring anything into the punch, or if you see it starting to smoke and bubble on its own accord as Sid disappears mysteriously around the corner, it's probably best to leave it alone. (music) 
Now, I know you're all ready to get things started, but before dinner starts, the party planning committee has set up a few games and contests for us all to take part in. There's a pumpkin carving contest where the creator of the best jack-o'-lantern will win the grand prize of Hannah the Envelope, please! Here you go. Thank you. The winner will receive a gift certificate to the seafood restaurant in town. Seriously? It was all he had. Yeah, but but do we even know where the seafood restaurant ended up? Well, is it on the map? No, not to my knowledge. Then no. But, but how are they supposed to use the gift certificate? I don't know. It was all we had. But if we can't find the restaurant and all the people who worked at the restaurant are now either flesh-eating mutants or were eaten by the flesh-eating mutants... How is the winner supposed to use the gift certificate? It was all we had. (sighs) It wasn't even that good of a seafood restaurant. And it had such a stupid name. Murphy's Claw. Come on. Sammy. Yeah, Yeah, I know. I know. It was all we had. Okay, look. How about... The winner of the jack-o'-lantern carving contest wins a useless gift certificate to a mediocre seafood restaurant with a stupid name and full control over the dance's music for 10 minutes. Does that work for you, Hannah? Yeah, all right. I'll allow it. Okay, good. There will also be bobbing for apples and horror movie trivia. Since some of the games can be a little bit on the messy side, we're recommending that you wait until after dinner to change into your costumes for the dance. If you choose not to listen to this advice and you end up with pumpkin guts on your costume, don't come crying to us. We warned you. Speaking of costumes, just a reminder that there will be a costume competition at the end of the dance. I'm not sure what everyone was able to come up with on such short notice, but I sure am excited to see what everyone's wearing. Especially since there will also be a contest for the worst costume. And let's be clear... You actually have to be in costume to enter either the best or worst costume category. You cannot just wear your normal clothes and say you're a serial killer. That's cheating. Even if your normal clothes are covered in blood, you will be disqualified. That's not a costume, guys. That's just laziness. We all have clothes that are covered in blood. You're not special. You're just gross. Do your laundry. Thank you. And for those of you who want to take part in the festivities but don't feel like dancing, we will also be having a horror movie marathon in the auditorium. If Scotty can get the projector working, that is. Otherwise, the movies will be in the cafeteria and will be played on the TV on the cart, a device we all know and love from our school days before the apocalypse tore our town asunder. We will let you know at the end of dinner where and how the movies will be played. Thank you! Okay, just a couple more announcements before we kick things off. First of all, big thanks go to Kyle for opening up and manning the nurse's office after the animal attack during the pet adoption drive this week. Your efforts were very much appreciated, and you did a really, really good job. I saw that. What was that, Hannah? I saw that. You're blushing again. Do you like Kyle, too? Shut up, Hannah. We aren't talking about this. Oh, yes, we are. Who else do you like? Okay, fine. We will talk about this later. But in case you haven't noticed, I'm doing the morning announcements right now. It's after 5 p.m. I'm doing the evening announcements. And we are still not talking about this right now. Okay? Fine. But we will talk about this later. Okay. Now, where was I? Oh, right. In other news, the mysterious creatures that at first glance appear to be adorable mixed-breed puppies and then turned into terrifying things, have been successfully rounded up and gifted to the demon who hangs out by the water fountain in the third floor corridor. Apparently, while it is terrified to death of cats, horrible hell creatures are just fine in its book. We haven't actually seen or heard from the creatures since they were rounded up and given to the demon, so honestly we can't be sure whether or not it kept them as pets or ate them. But... Well, so far, everything seems fine. 
And yeah, I think that's it. That's the last of the announcements. So if you could all gather up your stuff and make your way to the cafeteria for dinner. Sammy? That would be... Sammy. Hannah, just give me a second. I'm almost done. Sammy! What? Get over here and look out the window. What? What is it? Oh my god, is that... It's the kids. Oh my god, okay. Everyone? I don't want to cause a panic, but remember how all of the children disappeared during the apocalypse back in June, and we haven't seen or heard from them since? Well, they appear to be outside. Um, and they're in costume. They're adorable. Yes, Hannah, they're adorable. They're little kids in Halloween costumes. Of course they're adorable. I just don't think that should be our main takeaway here. Where would they even get the costumes? And they've been gone for what? Close to five months? And now they're back and in costume and... Oh my god. Okay, um... I don't want to alarm anyone, but... I think they're trick-or-treating. They're all staring up the main door to the school and... Yeah, that's probably not good. Hannah... Hannah, they don't look right. It's fine. The door's locked. They can't get in. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's fine. It's probably fine. I mean... They're just surrounding the school and moving in unison and look dead behind the eyes, but it's fine. The doors are all closed. They can't get in. It's fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What uh-oh? Hannah? Hannah? I think somebody opened the door. What? Oh, not again. Guys, the children are inside. Repeat, the children are inside! (laughs) Hannah? Hannah? Where are you going? Well, I'm going to the principal's office, and I'm going to barricade the door. I suggest you come with me. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Guys, run. Murphy's End is a Hindsight Podcast production, and new episodes are released every Tuesday. Sammy is voiced by Sarah Eagleson. Hannah is voiced by Krista Seeley. And full credits for the episode can be found at our website, hindsightpodcast.com. While you're there, sign up for our mailing list for news and information about upcoming episodes. You can also find us on Twitter, at Murphy's Inn. And if you like the show, please leave us a rating review on Apple Podcasts or support us on Patreon. Remember, it's going to be a long year.